In the last video, we said that we were going to do an example of object-oriented programming using a library account as our, our class. So before we actually write that class, um, it's always a good idea to kind of sketch out ahead of time what you want to include in your class. So I just jotted down some ideas of the properties I want in my library account. I need to know I, have an, I need to have a name associated with it, some sort of account number. Um, I know that I, I want to be able to check out books, and I want to keep a list of the books I have checked out. And if you're anything like me, you unfortunately sometimes turn those books in late, so I might have to worry about an account balance or fines that I might accrue. Again, there's probably more um, properties to a real library account, but we're going to keep it simple just to uh, provide an example. Some of the methods that I want to have associated with my account class is I want to be able to check out a book, which means to add it to my list of books. I want to return a book. I want to add a fine in case I uh, have a library book that's overdue. And I want to pay off a fine, so reduce my fine total. So those are the main things I want to have in my account. So now that we have those ideas, let's go ahead and actually start to write that class. So I'm open up PyCharm, and I have a new project called Library Account. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a file. Let me just do that here. Python file. And I'll call it um, library. Let's just call it account.py. And I get a new Python file. So first thing I want to do when I'm creating my class is I'm going to use the keyword class. And then I'm going to give it the name of my class. And you'll notice that when I create the name of a class, it always starts with a capital letter. That's the default in Python and many other languages. Your class name should start with a capital letter. And then I put my colon. Notice there's no parentheses for this. So that's how I define an account. The first method of an account is a special Python word. And again, methods are just functions, but they're in a class. I'm going to put two underscores then an I-N-I-T, and then two more underscores, and then that keyword self, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. What this method does, it is whenever you create a new instance of a class, this method is called, and any setup that you want to have happen uh, when you create an instance of the class is done. So when I create an instance of a library account, I want to be able to pass to it someone's name and an account number. When I set up a new account, that's really all I need. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these parameters and I'm going to assign them to instance variables. You can always tell an instance variable because it starts with the word self. So I'll say self.name equals name and self.account number equals account number. The reason we use self is self is a special keyword. And remember we said that one of the nice things about using a class is I can create multiple instances of a class. Um, we said before we were talking about our car example that I could make multiple instances of cars. I could have a Toyota, a Lamborghini. And self is the word that the class uses to keep track of which instance you're talking about. So if I use, if I want to call the drive method, self says, okay, call the drive method on whatever particular class, instance of the class you're talking about. And this will become more clear as we start to use this. But generally, the first thing you do is you assign your parameters to an instance variable, one that starts with a self. Even though they weren't parameters, I'm going to create two more instance variables, one called self.balance. And I'm going to assume that when I create an account, I'll have a balance of zero. And I'm going to create self dot books checked out and I'm going to create an empty list. So when I create an instance of my class, it's going to create these instant variables. It'll have my balance set to zero and I'll get an empty list of books checked out. And again, when I create an instance of an account, this is the method that's called. Well, let's go ahead and create our other methods that we talked about. So I think the first one was I want to be able to check out a book. 
So, oops, I'm going to call it check out. And notice that when I do the parentheses this time, because I'm in a class, Python automatically adds the self parameter. Every The first parameter in every method in a class must be self. And again, that's how Python keeps track of which instance is using it. And checking out a book will take one parameter, which is the book title. And this one's kind of easy. All I'm going to do is I'll take the self.books checked out. And I'll append that to my list. Well, that was pretty simple. All I'm going to do is just keep adding any books I checked out. Whenever I call this checkout method, I'll add it to my list of books. All right, well, what if I want to return a book? Well, let's do return. I'm not going to call it return because you can see that's a keyword. I'll do return book. And I'll use the title as a parameter again. I have to be careful because if I pass a title that's not in the list, I could get an error. So I'm going to say, I'm going to do a little checking here. I'll say if title is in self.books checked out. So if that title is actually there, let's go ahead and remove it. So self.books checked out, remove title. And again, remove will remove that item from the list. So if it's there, go ahead and remove it. All right, let's say, unfortunately, I have a book that's turned in late. I might have a, a fine. So uh, add fine. And I'll put amount, because it'll depend on how, off, how much my book is overdue. And if we wanted to, we could write a function that find out what day it was, what day the book was due, and calculate the amount of fines, but we're not going to get that complicated here. So I'll just say self.balance equals self.balance plus the amount. And you might have noticed that even though the instance variables are called or are defined up in this initialization method, I can refer to them without being having passed from function to function within the class because they, they belong to the entire class, which is kind of helpful. So let's do a pay fine method. And I'll do self.balance minus equals amount. And notice that I haven't put any checking to see if the amount is more than I actually owe. We'll just say that the balance will become negative, which means I have a credit on my account. So that's it. We've defined a, a very simple blueprint for an account. We have an, a name, an account number. I can check out books. I can return books. I can add a fine, and I can pay a fine. In the next video, we'll talk about how we would write a, a file to actually use this class to create an instance of the class account.